got six more minutes, Pop, to break the record. Oh, son, I, I can't make it. I know I can't. Come on, here. Come on, here. And when I get back to Oakland, all my friends gonna ask me about my visit. And I'm gonna tell them the highlight wasn't the teacher's conference. It was meeting Fred Sanford. And now the man of the hour, I should say the man of the final hour, well, really, the man of the last five minutes, my pop, Fred Sanford. Thank you, thank you, son. And now that I have the record almost wrapped up, uh, I'd like to pr propose the toast. Down the hatch, bottoms up, like I am, good health, and good night. Oh, uh, uh, I want to thank everyone here that made this possible for me, especially you, Bubba, with your terrible singing. And for you, Roger, for dribbling that ball all the time. And Choo Choo Rabinowitz for not staying up any longer than she did. There's a door. That must be Mr. Grayson. Oh. I'm coming. Well, Mr. Sanford, I see you're still awake. I was certain it was way past your bedtime. Sorry to disappoint you, but what you see is history in the making. Oh, good. Uh, come in, Mr. Grayson. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, you know Bubba and my son, Lamont. Uh, Hello. Hello. Uh, let me take your briefcase. Oh, thank you. A love game. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> I've always been fascinated by science. Did you know that the record for the world's largest sign was held by two ancient Chinese workmen? Yes, they did it in 407 AD. And it stretched from one end of the Great Wall to the other. And it read, Ki Fu Ling Su Shinika Shinika. What does that mean? Wet paint. However, that record is currently being challenged by a gentleman from Cleo, Kansas, who's attempting to body paint the entire King family. <laughs> Well, enough of that about those who've already achieved immortality. Back to the business at hand, eh? I must confess that when I first met your father, Mr. Sanford, I didn't think that he was world book material, no, but he certainly fooled me. Tell me, I wonder what prompted him to go for the record? Well, you see, it all began... No, 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 Bubba, Bubba. Now let Pop do his talking for himself, man. Hey, Pop. Oh, Pop. Where'd you go? Hey, Fred, where are you? If this is some sort of a practical joke, I certainly don't appreciate it. I have an appointment with a man who has eaten nothing but prunes for the past two weeks. <laughs> I'm sure you can understand I don't want to keep him waiting. Well, he must be someplace. He must have stepped out for a minute. Well, let's see. I came in, gave him my briefcase. He went toward the couch, put the briefcase on the table, and fell asleep on the oh, floor. No, no, no. Sorry, but Mr. Sanford missed the record by 43 seconds. Oh, Fred, how could you do this when we almost had it in the bag? And just think, I sang 3,249 courses of Alexander's Ragtime Band for nothing. Roger, you can stop dribbling the basketball now. I don't think I can. I've been dribbling for five straight days. Just a moment. Do you mean to tell me that you actually sang 3,249 choruses of Alexander's Ragtime Band. That's right. And you've been dribbling a basketball for five straight days. Uh-huh. Oh, I have good news for you. You have both just broken world records. Hey, 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 just repeat that another 27,000 times and give me a call. 